Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm reading the one of Jem's fantastic stories. Um, this one is not overly long, but I think I might be able to get through this one all together, and then the next two I'll do. Um, I might do parts one and part two. They're not as long as what I thought, actually. Um, but this one is called The Mental Nurse. And like I said last night, I think they do continue from each other, but I'm not sure what way they go. Um, so, but yeah, this one is called The Mental Nurse, and I'll see how far I get in it, and then if I decide to do part two, I'll do a part two. Fagan, I heard about a mental illness that's killing people. Fagan laughed. Yeah, right. A few months later, Fagan was very sick and rushed to the hospital. Dr. Ford walked round the ward. Miss Rosie, there's someone here to see you. Toby nudged Fagan. Miss Rosie is a mental nurse. Fagan laughed. I'm so scared. Not. Toby turned to, Dr. to Nurse Rosie. How long has he got to stay in for? Nurse Rosie smiled. A few days. As Fagan's parents and sister went home, he wished he believed his sister as he walked to the underground room. Nurse Rosie pushed him forward. Bed number seven is three. A boy called Mike turned. Get out, now! And a girl called Olivia shouted. We're all going to die. Miss Rosie smiled. Even the voice in your head again, Mike. She spiked Mike's drink. Mike did not drink it, so she in it was injected into him. Miss Rosie called. Dr. Ford! Dr. Ford turned up and whispered to the nurse, Fagan heard every word. I think Dr. Ford is behind the killing of Mike. Soon, the information was passed to everyone in the room. Nurse Rosie shook her head, Chinese whispers. Olivia turned to Fagan. She put a chip in me, and it controls me like a robot. If only I could find the remote. Fagan fell asleep, and he had nightmares. As he woke, he discovered his legs were no, no longer working. It could not move. I'm going to die, Fagan said. Olivia turned. Told you. I'm a little bit confused because it doesn't might be on the killing of Mike, but Mike's unless it's I don't know. <laughs> Mike lifted his head. None of us can move our legs. So what about visiting times? Fagin asked. Olivia sighed. She puts us in a wheelchair and takes us outside to meet our family and friends. Once a year. I've been bedstock for 12 years. Twelve years? I've been here for 20 years. Dr. Ford came in. Rosie, I'm here to tell you five must go this week. So if it means you, I shall get a pay rise. By the way, where would you like to go for lunch? The next day, Dr. Ford and Rosie went out for lunch. Fagan, watch them. Mike, I've got a plan. Olivia frowned. What the hell are you doing? Fagan smiled. I can't move my legs, but that shan't stop me. He used his arms to drag himself around. Mike laughed. He's a genius! Fagan found a remote. But just before he could pick it up, Dr. Ford returned, stepping on it. I need to go shopping, Nurse Rosie said. 
please get Mike and Fagan back into bed. Dot Ford threw him on the bed. Pull a trick like that again? I shall cut off your hands with a chainsaw. You are never smart enough. You will never outsmart me. And Rosie knows all the secrets, so I'll give it up. As Fagan, as Dot Fagan, Dot Ford went to get the chainsaw, a birth certificate fell out of his pot pocket. Name is Fagan Fitzgerald, the date of birth was 1st of the 12th, 1999. The mother is Rosie Ford, Rosie Fitzgerald, and Derek Ford. Join the more kids? Yes, Dr. Ford said. Ten year old girl named Toby. They're both sent into care. Oh, yeah, they definitely are following on from each other. Um, I get it now. Uh, my name is Fagan Fitzgerald, and I have a ten year old sister named Toby. Dr. Ford found. When is your birthday? 1st of the 10th, 1999. Dr. Ford smiled. Rosie, I think we found our son. Rosie returned. I heard they died. A few days later, turn up Fagan and Toby, both the kids of Dr. Ford and Nurse Rosie. Dr. Ford sat Fagan down. Bring us your sister and I shall set you all free. Or nobody will know, or you all die. Ten years later, so she just come like a time jump in them. Fagan, Toby said, the Rosie has died. As Fagan jumped up with the excitement, he found that he found what he thought was a letter. Fagan gulped, and he discovered a note full of names. What were this note? Makes no sense. Why is my name not on my mother's list? As Fagan wrote his sister's name on the list, he fell to the floor. What the? Fagan rang the cops. It just sounds something like a death note, um, kind of thing. Nothing but un old age can kill me. Suddenly, there was a shooting star. That star is mine. Fagan shot. PC beard and laugh. Trinkle, trinkle, little star. After hours of trying to find the star, Fagan went to his sister's grave to discover a familiar face. Dot Ford was there. Fagan, I'm sorry, son. Fagan picked up a chainsaw and threw it right in his dad's head. That one got a little bit confusing, um, but again, it was good. Um, but I, I like the way she does them, um, and now that I realise it's actually like a series, I didn't actually realise I was meant to do one after another, so it's probably a little bit confusing when I'm doing them, because it's like, what? Wait! <laughs> um, but yeah, she's really talented, and that's one she's... She's got so so much talent. And I'd be actually like to perform some of these because they're so good. Um, probably on stage they look even they look amazing. Um so yeah. But I have two more to do and um I think one is quite thin and one is quite long. So I think I might do a thin one next and then the long one might like, split into two different parts. But for now, I'm going to say, love you lots and lots of that jelly tots, and I'm keeping you looking weird. Bye!